Hello my friends, I'm Duchess and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be drawing Toru Honda from Fruits of Basket with Kyo and Yuki. Let's get started. Alright, so today I am going to be drawing Toru Honda from Fruits Basket. She's the main character of a really super duper cute anime. This anime is very slice of life, but it's a little bit dark and I think that makes it really interesting. And so yeah. I started watching this anime not too long ago. It might have been two years ago, but it doesn't feel like it was that long ago. It was really good. I watched it by myself the first time because I saw lots of fan art of Kyo and Toru on Instagram when I was first starting out as a small, 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 small Instagram artist. And I know that kind of spoiled the ending for me, but it was just so cute that I couldn't help but wonder where is this from? And so I looked in the comments, found it, and went to go watch it on my own on Hulu, I believe, and it was super cute and I loved every moment of it. I I think I was a little biased towards Kyo since the first episode just because of all the fan art I had seen, but I must admit that I was a little bit confused by Yuki and Toru at first because he was giving her some like romantic vibes and hints here and there but yeah overall I'm really happy she ended up with Kyo. I really really loved this anime so I told my family members to watch it. My younger siblings watched it a while later and I rewatched it with them and it was super super good. I really really love it. So I have tried to draw Toru with Yuki and with Kyo before. I have actually drawn all of them and I have drawn Toru just by herself and I have drawn Yuki just by himself and Kyo. But I have never really drawn a good version of them together and I'm not sure why that is but perhaps it's because of the anime style and changing it into my style is a little bit difficult especially because Toru's eyes are like super huge and it just wouldn't look like her if her eyes were small if you know what I mean and my art style doesn't really have really huge eyes so I think that was a big struggle for me every time I drew I tried to draw her but this time I'm drawing her with Yuki and Kyo and Yuki and Kyo will be in their animal zodiac forms so I think it will be really cute and hopefully this turns out to be the best version of them that I have ever made because all the other ones were not so good. For the sketching, well the gesture drawing was very very messy and simple, you can't even really understand what's going on. But for the sketch, I decided to put more time and effort into it. Usually I just do a basic gesture drawing, tiny little sketches here and there and then I just go straight into the line art so I kind of skip the sketching part but I really think I should take more time to actually sketch it so that way when I do the line art it looks a lot cleaner and nicer and so I did spend quite a quite a long time on the sketching this time I also used a lot of extra layers temporarily because her arm was overlapping her body and the Yuki and Kyo are also overlapping parts of her body and I didn't want to mess it up so I would add layers and draw on those separate layers and once I was satisfied with those individual drawing parts I would just merge the layers together so that way I don't have too many layers at the end. So the line art was actually pretty nice and smooth. Usually I struggle a lot with line art. I actually have this issue where I change the style of my line art every once in a while. I really like clean line art, but I also really like messy line art. And I really like solid line art, but I also really like textured line art. So in that way, I'm kind of confused and my art style and my line art is inconsistent. But I'm getting there. I think I like a sort of thick textured line art but it's clean. I'm not sure. 
oh that's another one thin line art versus thick line art and i think both are really good they all types of line arts are beautiful and i just struggle to choose only one so yeah but i actually really like the line art that i did for this drawing i think it looks really really nice satisfying very clean and yeah it'll make the coloring really easy because everything fits perfectly within the lines the coloring part was pretty easy it was very fast i would say that the coloring is the easiest part of drawing because you just basically fill in the colors i mean anybody can color right but i hope so i'm sorry if that's offensive actually but yeah so i think that was that part was really easy it took me maybe 15 minutes and then i move on to the rendering now the rendering took me quite a bit of time because i wanted it to be very clean but at the same time i like to render a little bit messily and also kind of show texture so that way you can see the actual paint strokes here and there and you can just tell oh this was drawn by a person you know and i think texture looks really nice so that's how i like to render i've been spending a lot of extra time rendering hair i think rendering hair is so fun i've been struggling with hair rendering for quite some time i never really paid too much attention to it and i focused more on skin and clothing but lately i've been doing a lot of hair strokes and hair rendering and I think it looks so much better than what I was doing before. That is all I have for you guys this week. If you guys enjoyed this week's video or learned something new, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next week.